For the Sooners, it's all about the Murrays. Heisman Trophy candidate Kyler Murray dismantles defenses, disembowels defenses, and decimates defenses. While Kenneth Murray is relentless, ruthless, rapacious, racking up tackles, 28 of them last week, shattering the FBS record. It's Sooner Swag on deck. Two decades of consecutive sellouts here at Memorial Stadium. And today, Oklahoma welcomes in Baylor for a conference battle. Baylor 3-1, Oklahoma a perfect 4-0. Matt Rule, the second-year head coach of the Baylor Bears, has already surpassed last year's win total of just one game. He feels that his team is ready to accomplish something special. Meanwhile, second-year head coach, his counterpart, Lincoln Riley, on the other side of the field, says that it's important today that his team protect the home field. He feels Baylor is much better than advertised. Just a few moments before kickoff, Mark Jones chopping it up alongside. I'm not going to call him Dusty Dvorak today, folks, here in Norman. He's just 94 to everybody, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dusty, big news, though, for Oklahoma. Kyler Murray, the starting quarterback, will not start because of disciplinary reasons. What does that mean for the Sooners today? Well, they got to start fast. All the spotlight now goes on to Austin Kendall, who did not win the starting quarterback job and the quarterback competition in the offseason. I think for Baylor, it gives them an opportunity to start fast. And Oklahoma this year has outscored their opponents 108-31 to in the first half of point of emphasis for Matt Rule. Matt Rule said they needed a fast start with Kyler Murray starting on the bench. Gives him a great opportunity. Yeah, for more on Kyler Murray, let's go downstairs to Molly. Well, Mark, I'm told that Kyler Murray overslept and was late to Friday's practice. That's why he's not starting in this game. And Lincoln Riley making being on time a huge priority for his team, telling them if you're late to anything, you're not starting. And there's no word on how long Austin Kendall will be out there on the field. They're obviously being very uh, private about this because they don't want Bay to gain a competitive advantage, but I am told that head coach Matt Rule did learn the news of this last night, and there's more bad news for the Sooners. Their starting left guard, Ben Powers, is out here right now in street clothes, Mark. And that's one of the best offensive lines previously in all of college football. Well, Baylor winning the toss, deferring the second half. Oklahoma will receive, so we will see their offense led by Austin Kendall on the field first to begin this game. Ray Brown back deep for Oklahoma. Sooners have won three consecutive games against the Bears. And Oklahoma will take it first and ten from the 25 yard to four check marks. Yeah, you know, Oklahoma, uh, they're secondary today. They're gonna be challenged big time. They haven't tackled well, and they've had some issues in some coverage, and Baylor's got some big receivers that are really gonna test them. Both these defense will be put to the test with mobile quarterbacks, and as we mentioned earlier, in the open, Baylor really focused on getting out to a quick start here in Norman. Austin Kendall making his first collegiate start here today. Tailback behind him, Trey Sermon. On first down and ten. All the way out to the 32-yard line. That was Austin Kendall showing some of his mobility. Little zone read, keep the defensive end. James Lynch closes on the running back. A nice job by Austin Kendall taking what the defense gives him. A little bit of motion there on the left side of that offensive line. Dusty, any idea what kind of feel you have for how long Kendall might be in there and Murray on the sidelines? I'd be shocked if it's more than two series. There's a decent chance it's only one series before we Ball see start. Kyler Murray. Everyone but the center. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. But I do think it's worth pointing out this is good on Lincoln Riley. He made a rule with his football team. He laid down the law. Kyler Murray was late to practice. Therefore, he has to suffer the punishment. That's exactly the way a head coach should handle his business. Nobody beyond reproach, even the star quarterback. Second down and 11. Kendall pulls it out. Looking downfield, a little holding going on. 
No flag, though, as C.D. Lamb was being grabbed by Derek Thomas. Actually seemed to have him by the jersey at one point, and now a late flag on the play. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 44. Defense with a hit below the quarterback's knees. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Looks like Derek Thomas, the cornerback, got away with a hold, if not a pass interference on C.D. Lamb. Yeah. And then Clay Johnston hit the quarterback low. That's a missed flag there. They did not miss the low hit on Austin Kendall. Well, he had all of Lamb's number two in his hand. First down and 10 out to the 39-yard line. Out to the 40, that's Trey Sermon with his first carry of the ball game. Brought down by Chris Miller. Trey Sermon, the starting tailback in place of Rodney Anderson, who was injured in the second ball game of the season, suffering a knee injury and done for the year. Second down and nine. They go fast. Incomplete over the middle intended for Calcaterra. It's a nice job by the middle linebacker, Clay Johnston. Cover two. He's sitting back in coverage. He breaks on the football with a big hit on Grant Calcaterra to knock this ball loose. Look at the plant and drive by 44. He sees it. That's just a drop by Calcaterra. The ball was out before the contact got there. Third down and nine. Opening series of the ball game for the Sooners with Austin Kendall in at quarterback. Tyler Murray watching from the sidelines due to disciplinary reasons. Kendall under duress. Incompleted the 41-yard line for Calcaterra again. And now they'll have to punt on fourth down. Good pressure up front by James Lynch. James Lynch watching him on tape. Talk about a defensive lineman that can flat out get after it. Excellent rusher. Good hands and hips. Matt Rule calls him slithery. It's tough for offensive linemen to get their hands on him. A nice stop by Baylor on the opening possession. Chris Platt is one of the return men for Baylor, a dangerous punt returner. Austin Seibert averaging a little over 41 yards per punt on the season. A line drive spiral and a fair catch called. Fumbled! Back at the 12, scooped up. And they're going to mark it about the nine yard line. Unable to advance a fumble on a punt. But Curtis Bolton was there to scoop it up. It'll be first and goal from the nine for Oklahoma. Big mistake by the punt returner, Chris Platt, the senior. The speedster calls for the fair catch and just misjudges the football. Nice effort down the field by Trey Brown to get on the returner, make sure he can't recover the football. An outstanding job scooping. Now, obviously, you can't advance it, so no score. A nice job by Curtis Bolton. Dusty, let's see who comes in at quarterback now for Oklahoma. Will it be Kyler Murray? I'm or guessing will it be Kyler Austin Murray. Again? Yeah. That was a one series rebuke and punishment for Kyler Murray. And you can hear the fans here. First and goal. Hands it off to Pledger. And Pledger is brought down. Got about a yard on the play. Pledger, one of about four backs we'll see carry the football here today. Doing it by committee in the absence of Rodney Anderson. T.J. Pledger, true freshman out of IMG Academy. Quick, can make you miss. He's got a bright, bright future here in Norman. Second and goal. Pledger and Sermon in the backfield. Plate clock winding all the way down to four. Murray. Touchdown Sooners. Morris with the grab. Kyler Murray puts his team on the scoreboard. A little bit of help from that fumbled punt by Chris Platt. 
And for Lee Morris, that's his second touchdown reception of the season. And the fourth of his career. Hybrid with the extra point. And the Sooners lead it 7 to nothing. Lincoln Riley sent his message, and Kyler Murray didn't take him long on the slant. To Lee Morris beats the coverage, and Kyler Murray responds in a big way. Oklahoma Sooners off to a 7-0 start, capitalizing on the fumbled punt by Chris Platt. A couple plays later, it was Kyler Murray into the end zone, completing the pass for the touchdown, and the Sooners continue to dominate its opponents in the first half. That trend starting here this afternoon already. Platt and Trevor White back deep. And they'll come out to the 25, first down and 10. Right here on ABC, expect wide-out conditions for this one. We'll have the top 10 matchup between big-time college football playoff implications with it, too, between number four, Ohio State, and number nine, Penn State, at Beaver Stadium. 7.30 Eastern time, 6.30 Central on ABC. Also on the app, you can watch it anywhere. Who do you like? I like Ohio State in this one, man. I know no Nick Ooh. Bosa. I think it's going to give Trace McSorley some opportunities. I Ooh. think it's going to be a fantastic football game. That wide out, it's going to be off the charts tonight. Wow. In Happy Valley. Okay. Mm -hmm. First down and 10, Charlie Brewer out of the shotgun. Completes his first pass over the middle. It ought to be a first down to Jermichael Hasty. Charlie Brewer completing 63% of his passes coming into the ball game here today. He's got some baller to him. He moves around quite a bit. They like him in the quarterback run game with the zone read keeps. And when the pocket collapses, he is very mobile back there, but he keeps his eyes down the field. And he's had a really nice start to the season for Baylor. Second down and one. Green again gets around the edge. There's a flag behind the play at the 31-yard line. Michael Hasty brought down. Holding number 63. Offense, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot, still second down. Charlie Brewer, starting quarterback out of Austin, Texas, and a very prominent high school program that he played at, too, Dusty. Same place as Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Lake Travis. Quarterback, high school quarterback factory. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I'm watching the tape. I didn't realize they even played at the same high school, and I'm watching, I'm thinking, Is this guy kind of similar stature to Baker Mayfield, kind of similar playing style. I mean, he's not quite Baker Mayfield, but it's interesting the relationship they have and how similar their style of play is. They move it back after the penalty. Nonetheless, Brewer completes another rope to number 15, Denzel Mims, with his 14th catch of the season. Third down coming up about four yards to go. Baylor coming off their best win of the season against Kansas last week. From the 31. Flag down, Brewer delivers a strike complete for the first down to the 40-yard line to Henley, but will it stand? <laughs> 42, Mark Jackson was working off the edge. Patrick Lawrence, the senior offensive lineman, very experienced. He what? was beat, so instead of allowing Mark Jackson pass, he got the hold. Good call by the official. Not to keep an eye on this Sooner defense. Looking to take a step in the right direction this year. That's been one of the emphasis of the recruiting efforts. Third down and 14. Brewer sacked back at the 13-yard line by Ronnie Perkins, the true freshman. One of those guys that continues to approve on that side of the ball. Well, it's third and long, and Mike Stoops decides he's going to dial up some pressure. And it's the true freshman. You're going to see him loop all the way around. He's going to come all the way around, and he gets clean. Athletic, very, does an excellent job seeing the crease, getting up the field, 
and getting the quarterback to the ground. They're very excited about the potential of Ronnie Perkins, who's had a great start to his true freshman season. His second sack of the season. Baylor with consecutive penalties on that drive, really self-destructing in a sense. Fair catch called at the 43-yard line, and the Sooners will start in good field position after Lamb fields it. It went 45 yards. Well, you can stream college football all season long on ESPN+. Plus. So start your free trial today by downloading the ESPN app or visiting ESPNplus.com. You can watch all kinds of great uh, games, live programming, some uh, 30 for 30s that have been banked and put on reserve and uh, some good stuff going on there. Great stuff going on there. But how, how nice is it to be back home today? Man, it's really huh? nice. You know, I, just, huh? I mean, I live here in Norman, so <laughs> I didn't have to travel this week. Didn't get on an airplane. Loved having you guys and the crew over last night for a production meeting. Mama cooked the chicken spaghetti, uh, so. Sandra Dvorak is our MVP this afternoon, no matter what happens on the field. Mom, I'm with you. Down to the 47, Kyler Murray picks up three. Around here, folks. Number 94 looms large. You walk into the athletic offices, the football offices, locker rooms. Two-time all-conference player here. Chicago third-round pick. Dusty, I'm, I'm enjoying just following in your vapors today, man. It's, it's been a fun ride the last few days here in Norman. Not a great football history. And the pass complete. What a grab by C.D. Lamb. Wow. That thing stuck to his hands. Wow, it's C.D. Lamb on a slant. Ball's thrown behind him. How about this for hands? Got some stick him on that thing. As he grabs it, pulls it to the shoulder, and juggles for a fantastic catch. Murray completes another one. This one to Brown. Marquise Brown, a.k.a. Hollywood, the leading receiver coming into the game today. It's a crazy grab. Great effort by C.D. Lamb. He's got some unbelievable skills. One of the more talented wide receivers has come through Norman in quite a while. He had the game-winning touchdown reception last week in that tight win in overtime against Armour. This offense should be very rested. They only got 18 snaps last week. A handoff to Trey Sermon still on his feet. And all the way down to the 30-yard line picks up eight. One of the things about this Oklahoma football team, you think of Lincoln Riley, most people think air raid. It is a physical ground attack between the tackles. And Trey Sermon, a nice pickup on second down. All day to throw for Murray down the middle. What a grab! Touchdown Sooners! Calcaterra going up. Catera has got great size. He's going to work a vertical right up the seam. And Kyler Murray waits for it. One on one coverage with the linebacker, Clay Johnston. Perfect pass. Nice job climbing the ladder, high pointing that football for Grant Calcaterra's first touchdown of the season. And Calcaterra a little shaken up after a tough landing after making that catch. Beautiful pass by Kyler Murray. You said it, his second one of the day for a touchdown. He has 13 on the season. And it's 14 to nothing. Calcaterra. And the Oklahoma offense tearing it up right now. Back after this. Facilities here second and undust. Beautiful $160 million renovation a couple of years ago. We appreciate Benny Wiley and his staff for showing us all their cool toys. And how about you, man? <laughs> Stepping up your game a little bit. <laughs> showing a little bit of athleticism uh, yesterday. Uh, I, I like it, Jones. I, I couldn't let you leave me behind there in the dust like you were. Let's see what Brewer does on this drive. Out to the 20 complete out of the backfield. That's 
Jalen Hurd, the converted tailback from the University of Tennessee. That's right, Tennessee. The last time he was on the field, he was a tailback, folks, a couple of years ago, one of the top rushers in the SEC. He had a couple of thousand-yard seasons for the Volunteers. It's a pretty incredible story. This was a physical power SEC running back who was weighing about 240-plus. He's gotten himself under 220, and to watch him on tape, the transition from running back to wide receiver, pretty incredible. Brewer hands it off between the tackles this time. That's Jamichael Hasty. Pick up a four on the play for Hasty, one of the team's leading rushers coming into the ball game. But they've had two offensive holding penalties and a personal foul. And the fumble punt that set up the Oklahoma touchdown from the nine yard line. An inauspicious beginning for Matt Rule, second year head coach for Baylor. Third and three. That's going to be enough for the first down. Jamichael Hasty out of Longview, Texas. Nice pickup by Hasty. Not a whole lot there. He just picked his way. He's a smaller guy, but he's compact, shifty, powerful. You've already seen him make his impact here today. He's been catching the ball out of the backfield very well for this Baylor football team this season. That rule telling us yesterday that he feels his program is light years ahead of where they were last year, not just in the win column. And in so many other more tangible, important ways as well. Brewer taking a shot up top. And incomplete at the 22-yard line and a big hit. Denzel Mims was the intended receiver. And uh, unlike last week when they faced nothing but triple option, a different test for that Oklahoma secondary this week. And Denzel Mims had a huge day against Oklahoma last year in Waco. It's good coverage on the outside. Parnell Motley working on a man-to-man -man and over the top. You had the true freshman, Brendan Radley-Hiles, get that shot on Denzel Mims. He leads the field. Second down and 10. to the bottom of your screen. Brewer looks the other way, complete to his tailback. Hasty made a nice move and ends up about a yard short of the first down. Picked up eight. So tough to tackle. Shifty. Catches the ball well. I think him out of the backfield. We've already seen him now catch the ball twice. Matching him up on linebackers. Looks to be a game plan that Baylor has heading into this game. That rule says that his team has to learn how to complement each other. And they're starting to do that now. Third and short, and a first down sprint by Jamichael Hasty, brought down by Curtis Bolden. But Hasty picked up four. It's good blocking off the right side. This is the strength of this Baylor offensive line. Blake Blackbar, Patrick Lawrence getting good push, good movement, and opening up a nice hole for Jamichael Hasty. This Oklahoma defense last week, Dusty, played 87 plays against Army. Going to be interesting to track them and see what their fitness level is going to be like today. And they, did, and they didn't, you know, rotate a lot of guys. Most of those guys played the bulk of those reps. Different tailback. This is John Lovett over midfield. Down to the 50, pickup of three and a flag down. Late flag on the play at the top of the feel there after the play was over unsportsmanlike conduct number 11 defense 15-yard penalty from the end of the run automatic first down that's number 11's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul for the game Arnell Motley outside on Denzel Mims Can't retaliate. You know, Denzel Mim just being very physical, blocking. His hands got a little bit up in the face, but the minute you take that punch, the minute you retaliate, it's going to draw the flag. He's got right. Parnell Motley a spot over on the side with his coaches. Right in front of the official, John Lovett in the backfield. First and 10 from the 35. Brewer. Went through his progression nicely and found his receiver. Marcus Jones, number 84, picks up eight. He'll be second down and two. He's got a bunch of good receivers out there. Between him, Thornton, Platt, some tall, rangy receivers.
with some nice wheels too, Dust. They got speed, man. They got guys that can flat out run and really test you vertically down the field. Under five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Brewer hands it off to Jalen Hurd, the wide receiver, formerly a tailback, back at tailback. So he hasn't given up the position. Well, right? he hasn't forgotten how to run the football. They put short yardage. They put him on the field at the running back. Watch the patience and then the burst through the hole. Simple power O, the patience skip, and he's going to get up the field to pick up the first down. He's still got it back there in the backfield. And they're going to try him again, Dusty. The toss over the boundary. Hurd lowers his hat and makes it down to the 20-yard line. Neville Gallimore with the tackle on the play. He's a little bit lighter than he was when he played tailback, but obviously still has the skills. Said he's dropped about 20 pounds, and you know, he wanted to move to receiver but for longevity, for playing football later in life. But he told Matt Rule, I'm willing to do anything it takes to help this football team win games. 11th play of the Baylor drive. And a blitz picked up on the play. Brewer wisely throws it out of bounds to live another day. It'll be third down and eight. Good heat by Curtis Bolden. You know, back to Jalen Hurd. He had already visited Ohio State and Louisville, was driving on his way to California to work out, randomly called up Coach Rule and his staff and said, hey, I'd love to come and visit and take a look at campus. He visited for a couple of hours, went back to his hotel, thought about it, called up the coaching staff, said, I'm coming. <laughs> it happened that quickly. And here he is in a Baylor uniform, back on the field after sitting last year out as per transfer rules. See what this flag is about. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 90, defense. Half the distance to the goal, automatic, first down. Neville Gallimore, the culprit. Nose tackle. <laughs> well, uh, hey, you played the position. I'm not even going to. I'm mean, not even going to ask you. Tony. Listen, we live in a world where they're always going to protect the quarterbacks, right? I mean, we see that each and every week. You know, I don't agree with the call. You hit me harder yesterday in the workout. <laughs> I, may, I may smack you on the back right now and hit you harder than that was. But listen, they're going to continue to protect quarterbacks yep. at this level and the next level. These, these rules aren't changing and. Defensive lineman like myself don't like it, but it's a reality. Brewer hands it off to Lovett. Lovett brought down by Trey Brown. Picked up about three on the play. Second down coming up for Baylor. This is the deepest penetration of the game for them. A methodical drive here by the Baylor Bears. Grinding on... The Oklahoma defense ends on hips down there. Looks like they're a little bit winded. They have been an outstanding red zone team this season. Taquan Thornton split to the bottom of your screen. Ball start and another flag tied in on the field. It looks like they got Christoph Henley that time. Ball start, number 87. Offense, five yard penalty. Still second down. Oh, an abundance of penalties for Baylor here in the first quarter. If you're going to go, go them. If you're gonna go on the road and try to beat a team like Oklahoma, you can't have yeah. self-inflicted mistakes. You've seen a muff punt, several penalties so far in this game, and as you saw by Matt Rule, he's not happy. Door to pass into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Mims. And they're back in it. Big time throw by Charlie Brewer. As he puts it up where only Denzel Mims can go up and get it. And Trey Brown working on coverage on Mims, but a fantastic throw on the post. Denzel Mims goes up and grabs it for a big time Baylor touchdown. That was a rope by Charlie Brewer. His seventh touchdown pass of the season, the 18th of his career. And he missed the extra point.
It'll be an interesting bit of communication there between the two Heisman Trophy winners, Mayfield and Manziel. Part of NFL Sunday countdown. Trey Brown on the return. There is a connection between Baker, Mayfield, and Brewer. Went to the same high school, Lake Travis. One of the popular programs in the state of Texas. Look at the uh, numbers there. Last week, Baker Mayfield named officially now the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. And Charlie Burr, what he said, he's known Baker Mayfield since he was in elementary school. Yeah. Been looking up to him, following his lead. Murray underneath, pass complete to Marquise Brown. There's a flag down in the play. Brown pushed out of bounds after picking up the first down. Will it stand, though? The flag back at the 16-yard line. Holding, number 74, offense, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. A lot of flags down in the field here today. Just about to say the exact same thing. Heavily penalized first quarter here in Norman. Cody Ford with the holding call. Each team with four infractions. He's had Cody Ford. This offensive line has been very good so far this season, but I think he's been the best of the bunch so far. As good a finisher of blocks as you'll find in college football. He's got some nasty to him. Kennedy Brooks in the backfield now. He catches the pass. Got a nice block and made it out to the 25-yard line. Well executed play by the Oklahoma offense, a pickup of 12 on the play. Miles Tees with a nice block on the edge there, huh? And his receiver is out there stock blocking, a swing screen. Kennedy Brooks, another one of those running backs, going to get an opportunity. Nice pickup in the open field. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hand off to Brooks. Dusty, tell me about this Oklahoma offensive line. Just how good is it in the big picture of college football? One of the better offensive lines, you know, in college football. You referenced Ben Powers in the starting today, but Jonathan Alvarez is. Well, he started at guard and at center previously in his career, so the experience is really there. And Creed Humphrey, he's a redshirt freshman, so he doesn't have the experience, but an unbelievably talented big man in the middle of that offensive line. And Bill Biedenboe, the offensive line coach, really as good as you'll find in college football, what he's done with the big was up front. Third and eight, Murray with all kinds of time. And this is where he can do it himself. Flag down, Murray brought down at the 29-yard line. Hit hard on the sideline. I think we're going to get another hold. There's a flag back at the 19. Matt Rule was telling us. Holding, number 71. Offense, that penalty is declined. Fourth down. It's going to go against Bobby Evans. Not a lot of teams have put pressure on Kyler Murray this year. Now that's what the uh, Baylor staff was saying. No one's even sniffed this guy. No one's touched him. <laughs> Bobby Evans working on the left side. Blitzing linebacker. And definitely a hole gets outside the framework. Good call by the official. Baylor's, Baylor's been taking the fight to him. If they can cut down on some of the penalties, it's helped Oklahoma. Showing some signs of good things here that series. Cybert punting, Chris Platt back deep. There he is, number 14, who fumbled one earlier, which cost them a touchdown two plays later. He fields this one cleanly at the 20-yard line, where it'll be first down and 10. Back at Memorial Stadium, Norman, Oklahoma. Baylor with the football first down and 10 from its own 21-yard line. Down by eight points, Mark Jones, Dusty Dvorak, Molly McCann down on the sidelines. Here on the windswept plains of Oklahoma. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. This is going to be to Michael Hasty. Hit immediately right near the line of scrimmage. Kenneth Murray had a, had a, a tackle or two a week ago with 28 against Army. Nice tackle there on first down. Oklahoma to Two high, two shell look, two safeties up top, so they just have five in the box. Big question, can they stop the run with that few people in the box and allow more coverage on the back end to help out with some of these big receivers? This is the end. First quarter, top out of the field. The Bears are still in. Kyler Murray, not always there when you call, but always on time. Didn't start. He sure looked
look like a starter. A couple of touchdown passes. Back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Throwing it around part of the great atmosphere here at Memorial Stadium outside. Baylor with the football. Hoover surveying underneath at the 30. It's hasty, made a nice move and move the chains again as we take a look at this week's rankings brought to you by Goodyear Oklahoma coming in at number six this week you I think the biggest surprise on that page for me before the year I thought it'd be a down year for LSU and they've been fantastic so far How about that seven eight matchup tonight yeah. Notre Dame Stanford Ohio State Penn State Brewer going up top got a man incomplete intended for Denzel Mims he was working against Motley, who had that penalty called against him in the first quarter. It's coverage down the field by Parnell Motley. You know, he can get hot and cold at times. When he's good, he's really good. And at times, he can be not so good. I think that making plays like that, good for his confidence, working on these wide receivers at Baylor throughout the course of the afternoon. On second down, Brewer hands it off. To Hasty. Hasty picked up the yard on the play. Ronnie Perkins in on another stop for that Oklahoma Sooner defense. Let's check in with Cassidy. Thanks, JLT Direct TV. More for your college football thing. Number 18, Texas K State. Deshaun Jameson on the punt return loses a whole lot of bodies and then turns on the Jets for the 90 yard score. The Longhorns have since tacked on another of 14, now 16 nothing in the second. Jonesy, Dusty, back to you. Hey, that OU Texas Red River rivalry shaping up pretty good. Brewer here out of the shotgun. Sacked back to the 27 by Kenneth Murray. Murray was the first one there. That's his third sack of the season. Same guy that had 28 tackles last week. Third and long, Mike Stoops dials up another pressure, brings Curtis Bolton off one side, Kenneth Murray up the middle. No one's open down the field. The pressure gets to Charlie Brewer. Second time today, Oklahoma on a third and long situation, dialed up the pressure, and they get home to get the sack. Drew Galitz hunting. C.D. Lamb calls for the fair catch at the 34-yard line. 13.09 to go in the first half. A lot of history here at Oklahoma, lineage of great coaches. And we've got some Bob Tales for you on the other side of this break. Stick around. You know, football is part religion here in Oklahoma, and that head coach office kind of looks a little bit like a chapel, almost a church. It's got an ethereal feel, a heavenly feel to it, and... Uh, we're joined right now by the guy that uh, put that wonderful office together. I, I just stoops. I designed it and then spent about two weeks in it and handed, <laughs> handed it over to Lincoln Riley. So uh, actually, Debbie Groves, person that designed my house, designed the office. She did an awesome job. There you go. Coach, thanks a lot for joining us. First and 10 for the Sooners here. Murray, little play fake, RPO, and completes the pass. What has life been like for you in the aftermath of coaching this great football program? It's been incredibly different. Uh, it's better this year. It was awful last year. I'm not even going to make any bones really? about it. Huh. That, that doesn't mean it's wrong. I knew it would be. I anticipated that, but it's, it's better. I'm getting more used to it. From the 44, second and one. Boy, nice move by Sermon, but couldn't... Well, he fell forward for the first down. Fantastic extra effort by Trey Sermon, just staying up, keeping his balance, and then lunging forward to get enough to move the chains. Big, strong back. He's 225 pounds, very powerful. You know, Coach, we're up here in the booth, and it's interesting, whenever I played for you, I was the one with the facial hair, and you were clean cut. Now I'm the one that's clean cut, and you got all the facial hair. Well, you're not telling the whole story. <laughs> Murray under heat and sacked for the first time today. Rear pressure. Greg Roberts got in there to make the sack. Take one more look at this good heat by the Baylor Bears defense. Greg Roberts, the defensive end, outstanding job coming off the edge. He's going to get home. Working on Meyer, the tight end, just shoves him into the quarterback, sheds the block. A nice sack. 
by the senior. Well, I was going to say, not only facial hair, but tattoos and piercings as well. That's so. correct. <laughs> That's correct. You were my wild child. Second and 20. High snap. Murray corrals it. And with that kind of speed, he's making lemonade. Stepped oh, out of bounds. Up. At about the 30-yard line. An exceptional athlete. Uh, speed. Well, we the field, the runner stepped out of bounds. Speed. 43. Great arm strength. Very bright, smart guy. I, fortunately, I sit. Like Lincoln allows me to sit in some of the quarterback meetings every week. And uh, Kyler's an incredibly bright player as well. What do you make about the fact that he's a two-sport guy and managing the both, both the sports as, as a head coach? I, I love it. I've always felt if a person has God-given talent to play two sports, allow him to. And just work, you know, you have some boundaries that you set and make sure that he can keep up academically that Kyler's managed it incredibly well. First down and 10 after that sprint picked up 22. They spotted at the 43-yard line. Nice big wide open room service. Touchdown Sooners. Lee Morris with his second one of the afternoon. What a great player Lee Morris has been for us. He's, I think 90% of his catches are touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a scholarship after the season over against Florida Atlantic. Oh, by the way, Kyler Murray's high school teammate. So the, that connection's been happening for a long time between those two. At Allen, Texas. Yeah, right? Yeah, so that's awesome. Great for him. Great play action. The run sets that up. They're, they've been stubborn against the run, but this is sometimes you have those great hard plays play actions and the guys get open like that a quick strike that time by the Sooners offensively 43 yard pass and catch for the score and we're gonna ask coach Stoops to stick around on the other side of this break when you, baseball football doesn't matter Dusty when you've got a physical running game it opens up to play action and easy pitch and catch for another Sooner touchdown <laughs> I, oh, I, after 20 years, I just found out where the ticket office was yesterday, so I had no idea. <laughs> I called Coach the other day, and he didn't answer. He came right back. He said, you're not going to believe this, but I'm wandering around. I can't find the ticket office. <laughs> hey, your son Drake is on the sidelines as a member of this football team. What's it like having your son? Yeah, the Sooners here. very proud of them. I, uh, of course, love my team, the Sooners, but also love my son being down there and played in the first couple of games some, and and now there's some t talk. I, I think he's going to be redshirted is what they sort of told him now. So so anyway, I'm just proud of him, and it's fun to see one of your boys out there in a Sooner uniform. Proud dad up here. Jalen McClendon in a quarterback now for Baylor. Different look for this defense for Oklahoma. McClendon slings it on his first snap and completes it out near the 35-yard line to Denzel Mims. Outstanding job by Denzel Mims going up and getting it. Second time we've seen him high point the football. Great leaping ability. A very competitive, contested catch. Molly? Matt Rule has to be happy about that after that last drive. He focused a lot on talking to his receivers, saying they're showing blitz all day. I need you guys to stay focused and settle down and he told his guys none of them were in the right place he wants them to keep their eyes on the right spots and coaches talking to converted receiver Jalen heard about his route running quite a bit guys interesting McClendon 6-5 the transfer from North Carolina State comes in with his team down 21 to 6 hands it off to love it coach Stoops I want to ask you you mentioned your son Drake perhaps might red shirt shirt this rule we have now where it's four games, and then the player has an option to transfer or actually redshirt the year. What are your thoughts on that? It, it's created an interesting dynamic. Yeah, there's been some unintended consequences to it. And, uh, you know, the purpose of it was to be able to use your whole roster all the way to the end of the end of the, end of the football year. And now we've got guys conserving, or, or now I'm going to, you know, save my year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been different. I um, uh, didn't anticipate that. Be interesting to see. What happens in the wake of it if they make any adjustments down the middle of the field and incomplete at the 28-yard line intended for Mims again, broken up by Trey Brown. Yeah, we saw that rule, the transfer thing, come into play today when Lawrence from Clemson was injured and 
Bryant no longer part of the team. Oh, I get it. It's, it's uh, you know, there's the same thing with the great receiver McCleskey at o uh, Oklahoma State. Mm -hmm. Now not going to play the rest of the year. It's going to change the dynamics on a lot of football teams. Last couple of third and long situations. Mike Stoops dials up pressure. Let's see if he does it again or he sits back in coverage. McClendon with time. Fires a strike at midfield to Denzel Mims. And once again, Brown there to make the stop. So a win for Mike Stoops' defense. They hold the game to just seven yards. Fourth down and two coming up. And the punt unit comes on. So a win for Mike Stoops. We've got a Mike on the field, a Bob in the booth. I got to say, this another is another one in Kentucky, too, right? Oh, Mark's Speak to your brother today, season. Mark. Absolutely proud of Mark. Kentucky Wildcats are doing great. Ranked, uh, I think, 17th in the country. 4 0, doing a great job. Fair catch called at the 16 yard line. Coach, thanks a lot for joining us. Great. Get, a, get in you. a quick nine holes after the game today? Well, no, I got my <laughs> nine in uh, early before the game. Thank you. Good to be with you guys. Stoops all across the booths here in Norman. Back after this. Get your floss on, little man. My kids can do it, but I can't. <laughs> I'll admit it. <laughs> Murray hands it off to Kennedy Brooks. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Kyler Murray to totally document the story. Folks, you're watching a football player quarterback who was selected ninth overall in the Major League Baseball draft. Subsequent to that, signed a $4.6 million contract. Guaranteed. And putting his body in peril's way here playing collegiate football. I mean, there's so many different areas that it speaks to. The amazing athlete that he is to have the ability to, to be that good of a baseball player and to play football at a level like he is right now for the Oklahoma Sooners. But Fires incomplete, a rare poor throw. His first incompletion today. Center fielder here at Oklahoma. Power hitter. Had a fantastic year this past year. Oakland goes all the way up to number nine and gets him. And here's the thing. He let everyone know, the Major League Baseball teams know, I'm playing football. So Oakland knew going in that this was the likely outcome if they drafted Kyler Murray. And the kid loves the game of football. He loves playing quarterback. One of the all-time great high school quarterbacks out of the state of Texas. And I just think it's such an interesting dynamic. A, with all that money sitting there, he's still out here playing college football. And B, that the Oakland A's are on board. Yeah. And so it's, it's really an interesting situation. Completes this pass on the receiver screen out to the 32-yard line. Reception made by well, Mark, Tease. Kyler Murray told me the most important lesson baseball taught him is patience, saying the mental aspect of that sport arguably more important than the physical aspects. You fail a lot in baseball. Hitting 300 means you're failing 70% of the time. Staying patient is key. He definitely did that today, sitting out for the first series. And that'll teach you next play mentality. And the next pass was a dime drop down to the 29 to Hollywood Brown. Just a fantastic throw by Kyler Murray. Play action pass. He's got Marquise Brown one on one. He throws the fade. Mm. Absolute dime. 40 yards on the completion. Hands it off this time to Trey Sermon. Still on his feet. Boy, it came out of the pack down to the 23 yard line. That was not an easy catch by Brown. Concentration to get his foot in, but that ball was perfectly placed over his shoulder. Brown of Chaminade High School in Hollywood, Florida. They just call him Hollywood here in Norman. He's a burner. I'm sure we'll see how fast he is at some point this afternoon. Beyond what we did a moment ago. Quick jailbreak screen complete. There's the speed. Hollywood. Showtime. Such an explosive playmaker when the football's in his hands. A little tunnel screen, the blocking setup. And Marquise Hollywood Brown had nothing but daylight out in front. We asked him yesterday, I asked him. Hollywood, what do you what do you run the 40 in? <laughs> he said, like, well, you know, I haven't ever really been electronically timed since Juco. He said he ran a 4-3-3. Three, three. I said, yeah. can you get 4-2? He says he can. Yeah, that was 
Fast enough to lead the Baylor Bears in his wake in a big way. Oklahoma dominating 28 to 6. Right off of I-95 and Sheridan Street in South Florida. Hollywood coming at you. Back after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners in charge, 28-6. About six and a half minutes to go here in the first half. An impressive showing so far by this Sooner offense. Mark Jones alongside Dusty Dvorak, Molly McGrath down in the field. The 120th consecutive sellout for Oklahoma. And a fair catch called. It'll be first down and 10. Bears. One more look at the touchdown. What was the key here, Dustin? Tunnel screen, the blocking outside. It's 84 Lee Morris and Cody Ford, the right tackle. They're going to get on second-level players. They're going to open up a path, but it's outstanding vision by Marquise Brown. He sees it. It opens up. And he's going to have vision to the middle of the field through the hole. And you see him put on the afterburners. You give him some open space with that speed. It's a dangerous situation for opposing defenses. Baylor in a hole here. They used Jalen McClendon on the last series. Charlie Brewer back in the ball game for Baylor now. Little blitz off the corner. Brewer had it batted down in the line of scrimmage by that front. Bledsoe there to get a hand up. Folks, tonight out here on ABC, expect whiteout conditions for this one. Have a top 10 matchup. Big time college football playoff implications on the line. Number four, Ohio State. Number nine, Penn State at Beaver Stadium. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 Central on ABC, live on the ESPN app. So you can watch it anywhere. Brewer to pass. Blocked again at the line of scrimmage by Bledsoe. <laughs> We got that Dikembe Mutombo not here, wagging that finger. Not up in here. <laughs> it's a good job by a defensive lineman, though. If you're not going to be able to get there, shut your rush down, get your hands up in the throwing lane, and knock the ball down. Back-to-back -back plays of Monty Bledsoe. He can't get there as a rusher, but he's got that long wingspan, the long arms. He gets them up, and Charlie Brewer's vision, two pass breakups on back-to-back -back plays. Another third and long situation. We're going to see pressure here from Mike Stoops. This defense has responded in a big way here today. Brewer completes it out near the 40-yard line to Marcus Jones. And Jones is near the first down. Let's see if they give it to him. Looks like they're going to move the chains. And Brewer with a clutch conversion there on third down, a 13-yard gain. And Jones comes up limping. Good. Nice throw by Charlie Brewer. Timing route on an out route. Ball is on time and on target. Ooh. Oh, one of the coaches there got rolled up on. Jones. Well, he might have got banged up on the play. Yeah. Big time third down pass by Charlie Brewer. To the sideline. Caught right at midfield. Another catch. That time the freshman Thornton. 11-yard pickup. What do you make of Brewer's performance so far? I think he's done an okay job. He's been under a little bit of pressure on third down. Mike Stoops has heated him up. But I think he's been very accurate with the football. Done a nice job taking what the defense gives him. Back-to-back -back nice throws on the out routes. It's starting to pick on the quarterback, Parnell Motley, outside. Brewer taking a shot up top. And he overshot his receiver, who was wide open. Chris Platt almost looked like he stopped running a little bit, too. What happened there? Chris Platt is an absolute burner, one of the fastest guys on this Baylor roster. I don't know if he's hurt or what, but he was wide open down the middle of the field. And he just kind of quits on the route right there. Yeah, I mean, look at him. I mean, he's going down the field, and there's nothing but grass in front. And he just kind of gives up on the play. That's that's odd by the senior, who's really the leader of this offense. Hand off to Hasty, and Hasty brought down at the 45-yard line by Kenneth Murray. You know, Chris Platt tore his ACL 364 days ago against Oklahoma in Waco, and they felt that he had really finally gotten fully healthy. They wanted to continue to integrate him, get him more and more touches. Just missed on a golden opportunity with nothing but the end zone in front. Breathing kind of heavy. A 
Third and five underneath. Hasty. Going to be close. Going to be about a yard short. Picked up four. So fourth down. And what is Matt Rule going to do here? Oh, it's go time. I mean, you're down 22 points. Fourth and one. I think this is a no-brainer. Matt Rule got to go for this one. First time they've gone for it on fourth down this year. Jalen Hurd back there. He's their short yardage back. Expect power on. Got a whistle. They blow it dead. And Oklahoma is going to call a timeout. One snap. Timeout. Oklahoma. First and a half. 30 seconds in length. Mike Stoops uh, didn't like something there, Dusty. Not very happy. He gets emotional at times. <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> he recruited you? He did recruit me, yes. And, and how was that home visit? Was, was he as hyper as he was there? He was as passionate and animated <laughs> sitting there at the house right, with my mom and dad as he was up there in the booth. He did only knows one way, man. Okay. Wow. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm guessing mom, Sandra, dad, and put some good food in him like Absolutely. last night. Absolutely, like, man. The chicken spaghetti last night is still right there. The divorce checks know I eat. What can I say, <laughs> My man? man? Hey, take us to the uh, the Aflac trivia question. Uh, you've been nailing these questions, man. man. You've been killing us. This yeah. week, uh, what is the Oklahoma state motto? Aflac! We'll get to it after this play. Fourth down. Crowd make a little bit of noise. Jalen Hurd, the deep back, dotting the eye. Hurd going to be close. It looks like he got just enough. Leans forward for the yard. Going to move the chains. Okay, so the Oklahoma State motto. Is it on the license plate? Is it is it written somewhere? Can I say it in English? Yeah, go ahead. Because man. it's, it's not ahead. actually English. Okay, right. what is it? Labor conquers all things. How about that? Is that right? We're going to find out here in a second. <laughs> I don't know if it counts if you get full points for saying it in English. If there's some fancy Latin or Spanish translation. I'm, I'm not going to give me the gonna, authentic I'm thing. I'm not going to embarrass myself you, on national television. You can't water it down for me. I'm your guest, man. <laughs> False start by the left tackle. Under four minutes to go, and we have seen a lot of penalties here by both sides in the first half. Timeout. Baylor, first of the half, 30 seconds in length. A teaching moment for Matt Rule. So here's the answer. Okay. The state motto. The Aflac trivia question. What is the state motto of Oklahoma? Labor, Omini, Vincent. Labor conquers See, all it. things. Right there. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Right? I'll give that to you. I'll give it to you. Labor, Omina, Vincent. Vincent? Yeah. I took seven years of French. That's, that's Latin, so I'm not trying to talk that one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Did you ever know, actually, what Oklahoma means in Choctaw? Mm. Uh, Okla, people, home, red. Uh, red. Yeah. I know there is a great... The state belonging to the yeah, red people. A great Native American population here with wonderful historical roots. And uh, and there's a sea of red out yeah. here. Real stadium today. Off the play fake, Brewer. Got himself an alley and a completion to Hasty. Made a nice spin move and made it all the way inside the 40-yard line with 3.44 to go here in the first half. Baylor trying to punch one into the end zone before the end. How big would a touchdown be here for the Bears going into the lock? They need it. They need some confidence, a little bit of momentum. They're going to get the ball back to start the second half, cut this thing to a two-score game. Big, big possession for the Baylor Bears as we get closer and closer to half. Yeah. Oh, that had pick six written all over it. Trey Brown had some free lunch. 
I mean, that was a buffet. Ball he was took, ready to eat. The yeah, ball took a while to get there. It's an excellent break on the football by Trey Brown. Through his hands as he was already striking up the band as he thought he was making it to the end zone. That's why he plays defense, okay. by the way, Jones. <laughs> Third and ten. Next dude's defense has been impervious so far. Brewer incomplete at the 10 yard line in and out of the hands of Mims. And fourth down coming up. Good pressure by Mark Jackson up front. And excellent pressure up front. Mark Jackson gets a hit on Charlie Brewer. Denzel Mims goes up to get it. Kind of goes through his hands a little bit. Trey Brown, good job hand fighting to knock that ball loose. Look like from our vantage point, a very catchable ball yeah. that Denzel Mims typically comes down with. But a tough game for Mims. Missed a game earlier this year. He's one of their threats offensively. C.D. Lamb back to get this punt. And Drew Galitz. Galitz puts the nose of the football down and shoots for the coffin corner. Great effort there by Baylor on special teams. And it's a touchback. Let's go back to the studio. Kind of helps when you're not facing that triple option. 45 minutes time possession for Army. Just crazy. Murray hands it off to Sermon. Well, we talked about Murray and his baseball skills. His father, Kevin Murray, was Southwest Conference Offensive Player of the Year back in 1985. A great, strong arm quarterback stood 6'2" for Texas A&M back in the day. Now a private quarterback skills coach in the Texas area. In Dallas, actually. Murray sacked back at the 16. Good heat that time by Baylor. Collapsing the pocket, Roberts with the sack. Well, tomorrow on an NFL Sunday countdown. Sometimes even a cautionary tale can help a little bit. Third and 15 for the Sooners. Murray can burn you with his feet. But not that time brought down at the 23 yard line he didn't slide dusty and he's a very prolific and accomplished slider right what did the de defensive <laughs> coordinator of Baylor tell us yesterday the best slide in all of football yeah it's like he's going to second base all the time when he's out there not he spikes up that time, pops though. right up onto his yeah. feet he's not trying to break up a double play okay, right. what down Seibert with the punt flat Watches it bounce out of bounds harmlessly at the 42-yard line in that area. Did I impress you? You impressed me, man. <laughs> you got some skills, Jonesy. Brewer. Runs out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. When you talk about, uh, you know, facilities, it's, it's part of keeping up in the arms race. And recruits come through here, and they see the great facilities, and they get impressed. Uh, there's actually a group of recruits on the sidelines right now for the Oklahoma Sooners. Jordan Battle amongst them, the number three safety in the country out of South Florida. Nice pass over the middle by Ebner. And when you take the recruits from the facilities into Coach Riley's office, that's the look they get. That's the closer, man. <laughs> I, I mean, you ever seen an office like that? Oh, you put them on that leather couch and it's done. 115 to go. Brewer drops one in there softly to Mims, who makes the catch. A couple yards shy amongst them. Brewer, backside pressure, stays miraculously on his feet. Boy, a Houdini job by Brewer. And Ebner stopped up a little bit short of the first down. Good pressure by Mark Jackson, but he couldn't make the tackle. Mark Jackson, outstanding job off the edge with the rush. He just didn't finish at the quarterback. And how about Charlie Brewer making something out of nothing? He was dead in the water. He eludes the rush, finds an outlet. It's a nice pickup. Eight yard game, second and two. Ebner again inside the 20. They have one timeout remaining. Talked about a moment ago, Dusty, a touchdown for Matt Rule's team right now would be huge. 
getting the back in it. They threatened late in this game against Oklahoma last year. Remember, they're a they second close. half team, too. As Matt Rule told us, they get stronger as the game progresses. Brewer fires behind his intended receiver. Jalen Hurd, who has been conspicuous by his relative silence today in terms of receiving. 24 seconds to go. He's been their go-to target. Yeah. You know, so far this season, heading into today, and he hasn't, he's gotten more action in the backfield than he has catching footballs. This time Hurd lining up as the inside receiver to the top of your screen. Play clock under 10. As Hurd gets off the line, but Brewer comes the other way, complete to Jones. And Jones tackled immediately. That was going to be important for Oklahoma today, getting guys on the ground, right? Absolutely. And Trey Brown, he's playing some off coverage. It's a good plant and drive, and he comes up and he makes the tackle. Had some real issues with the... Brewer completed the 15-yard line to Ebner, one of his favorite targets. No timeouts. They're going to have to run the field goal unit on real fast here. Get it set and snap it. Martin, one second to go. And he knocked it through on the fire drill. Wow. That is an outstanding ball. The Sooners kicking off. And there's a Baylor team coming off a win last week against Kansas. They come in three and one. They're going to snap a three-game losing streak against Oklahoma. It'll be first and 20, first and 10 in the 25-yard line. Coming out of the shotgun. He played all but one series in the first half. Jalen McClendon, the transfer from North Carolina State. Got in for one series. Brewer comes out slinging incomplete. Ended for a, an incensed rule on the sidelines here in the third quarter. Over the middle complete to Mims. And Mims picks up the first down as we take a look at our Pacific Life game summary. Some of the pertinent numbers to date. Oklahoma averaging 10.4 yards on first down. That pretty much dictates a lot of their success, doesn't it? It does. And, and I thought, you know, Molly brought up a great point. They have not protected Charlie Brewer. What Matt Rule said they got to protect better. The left side of that offensive line has been getting beat up by the Oklahoma pass for us so far today. This is hasty into the boundary. Run out of bounds. Picked up about three on the play. What does it say about this Oklahoma defense that everybody talks about the offense and mm -hmm. sexy? Got a Heisman Trophy guy back there in Kyler Murray, but the focus of this season really is going to hinge on the success of this defense, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, look at last year and this year again. They've got a championship, national championship quality offense. The question revolves around the defense. So far, quitting themselves well. At the tight end, Henley, Christoph Henley ran through a would-be tackler. The native of Innsbruck, Austria, picks up nine and gets the first down. Missed tackle there by Kenneth Murray. Not under control. Got to make that play in the open field. Hasty. Brought down at the 43. Back to uh, Henley, the tight end. I'm guessing he was first team all Austria <laughs> when it comes to He's a big football. dude now. They had to translate a lot of the instructions and play calls things for him. Already 6'6", 251. He's going to continue to add weight, but Matt Rule very high on his true freshman starting for him already at tight end. Co coaches can work with a guy 6'6", 250. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt about it. Fullback for him right now. Lead blocker on this play. A nice gain by Lubbock to pick up the first down. And once again, Christoph Henley leading the way on a little uh, ISO, a little lead play almost. That's him in the back here. He's going to finish this block, open up a nice hole for his running back, John Levitt. Gets on that linebacker, finishes the block, and gets Kenneth Murray to the ground. Picked up six. Brewer, complete to Hurd. That's the guy that they want to get the ball to in the second half. This is a team that has had a lot of success 
in the second half as opposed to the first. We got to sooner shake it up there down in the field. Fatau. And that rule told us, you know, they're one of the Sooners. Matt Rule in his second year on the sidelines looking for a signature performance here. A handoff to John Lovett. Picks up about three yards. Matt Rule is a former coach at Penn State. That took over the program at Temple. And an interesting dynamic where his mother and father moved to both locales with him, moved to Penn State and also moved to Philadelphia. And subsequent to taking the job at Baylor, they moved down to Waco, Texas with him as well. Brewer hands it off again to Lovett. And Lovett makes it down to the 21-yard line. It's a family that sticks together and believes firmly in service. Dad has done missions to Rwanda and other places around the globe. And his son, Matt, has taken on the philosophy that he needs to go where the action is. Sometimes it's the place where he's needed as opposed to where his heart desires. Brewer over the middle, complete. Heard inside the 10, down to the six. First and goal, Baylor. They said that he's here to do something special, that this is bigger than football. And his father told him something that sticks with him. Never be comfortable in life. He said life is not about being comfortable, and he truly feels that he is exactly where he's supposed to be in Waco. They're going, they're going pretty fast right now. An impressive drive here to open the third quarter from the two. And that was love. It stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Third and goal coming up for Baylor. I can't believe this four down territory, right? Pads were popping down there by the goal line. Ooh. Ball's coming out. Big hit. Jalen Hurd lining up in the backfield. 13th play of the drive coming up. Like the power here. Yes. The toss to Hurd. Touchdown, Baylor. Half for the Baylor Bears. The extra point is good. I appreciate that. They put, a, they, put a, we, they put a meal down for us last night. You got me hungry, Joseph. <laughs> These teams ready to eat. This is Trey Brown on the return. And stopped up at the 12-yard line. First down and 10 from there. Hey, man. It just doesn't stop here in Oklahoma. Everybody working up an appetite yeah. today here in the stadium. I, I'd have to increase my dosage of, cr of Crestor. Go up to 10 grams. That, that apple's a little healthier than little, the other stuff we were just talking about. Definitely that list we had up. Definitely healthier than that. <laughs> Big drive for the Oklahoma offense. Baylor got a lot of momentum going right now. Get the touchdown, go down, get a big stop on the kick. On the handoff, this is Pledger. Let's go back to the studio. Thanks, Jones. He got a bit of an upset brewing in Evanston. Northwestern already up 10-0 on Michigan. And John Moat puts the Cats up 17-0. But Michigan just responded with a Karan Hick and TD 10-point game there. Coming up next, 7.30 Eastern on ABC, Dwayne Haskins and Ohio State visiting Happy Valley. Again on ABC. Back to you. And Haskins has been impressive throwing the ball. Calcaterra dropped that pass as Tyler Murray thread the needle that time into a tight window, Dusty. Yeah, Greg Calcaterra, typically a sure-handed receiver. His second drop of the day already. He's going to work right up the seam. He fires a strike. Perfect wow. pass in between the two defenders, and he just... Looked like a hit in the face in the helmet. Never saw it. Third and six. And plenty of room for C.D. Lamb. Down the sideline. Lamb. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It's 
outstanding protection. Baylor comes with a blitz, so it's man-to-man -man coverage. Kyler Murray gets the time he needs, and it's CeeDee Lamb on a shallow crosser, and he hits the sidelines, and it's heels to the field as he takes it 86 yards to the house. Seventh play of 20 yards or more for this dynamic, imperious, explosive Oklahoma offense. So they answer Baylor's score with a quick one of their own. A career-long catch for Lamb. They got a good block downfield from Brown. Lamb with the score. And Murray with a little assist. <laughs> Oklahoma University, 35 to 16. The pathways and hallways once scrolled by Dusty Dvorak, my partner here. Going to class, right? Go to football meetings? <laughs> a lot of class, man. <laughs> business. I'm a business grad, my friend. Business college. <laughs> Take a look at the Pacific Life game summary, recently updated to reflect uh, the big plays by the Sooners. 35 to 16, averaging still around 10 yards on first down. That's going to make things work out for you. Murray with a career high five touchdowns today. And the beat goes on. Only had two incompletions. I think Tyler's impressed even you a little bit yes. today. He could spin that thing. Didn't know he threw it this well. To see it in person, you get a different kind of perspective. Let's see how Brewer answers. He completes it over the middle. Nice catch and run by Ebner. One more look. What was the key on this touchdown, Dusty? Protection. There's going to be a blitz here, here from uh, Baylor. Going to bring the linebacker. And it's Trey Sermon who picks up the blitzing linebacker and allows Kyler Murray the time the football to CeeDee Lamb. Without that block, Kyler Murray's likely sacked, and that play never happens. Brewer not sacked, gets away from Heat that time, and Chris Platt making the catch near the first down marker. Comes up about a yard shy. Royals making the stop on the play. Brewer has hit 11 of his last 13 passes. And tell me about that defense back on the field after just yeah. three plays by their offense. Hey, and remember, 87 plays against Army a week ago. We're already up to almost 60 for the Oklahoma defense today. That was a 13-play drive out of half. Only three plays on the bench. Got to think this defense getting tired. Second down and one. Heard on the edge. Got that 4-4 speed down 31-yard line and picks up another Baylor first down. Jalen Hurd working out of the slot completely uncovered. No one accounted for him. They just lift up. They're just going to throw it to him out there wide open and let him get what he can get. And a credit to Baylor, already the third reception of the second half for Jalen Hurd won the entire first half. Came out of the game. Looked like he asked to come out. Might have been shaken up. Brewer wisely throws it out of bounds. Just to go back to that Oklahoma defense. They only got a three-play breather. Mm -hmm. But it's not like you got to apologize to them for scoring, no. right? No, like, no, tell not. me about the whole mentality there. Like, what, what's to do, though? What do you do? Well, I mean, I think you understand, you know, playing with this Oklahoma offense, how explosive they are. you got to be ready to get back on the field at a moment's notice. But that doesn't change the fact that you're still tired as a defensive guy. Okay. You're not going to be mad at your offense, but at the same time, you're always thinking, man, if they could put together a 10, 12-play drive, life right. would be a little bit easier. Yeah, I know they're doing all that great cardio over in the Athletic Center. Mm. Second and ten. Brewer complete underneath to Edner. And Edner tackled by a group, a convoy at the 27. Five-yard gain on the play with third down coming up. Baylor has looked impressive offensively here in the second half. Charlie Brewer's been outstanding. Picking apart this Oklahoma secondary. Taking what the defense gives him. Big third down here for the Bears. Four receivers caught. First and goal. Loose. Denzel Mims lost the handle on it, but he was out of bounds. They're going to mark it at the three-yard line. He was working again against Motley. Picked up 22 on the play. 
It's a great placement with the football from Brewer. Back shoulder throw to Mims on the sidelines, throws him open as Mims just stops on a dime. Spent time together at Penn State. Jalen Hurd back in the backfield. Kobe Bullard, the fullback, leading the way. Down to the one yard line, Hurd. Boy, he still has that strength to move the pile, doesn't he? What I like is the patience, and you see the jump cut. And whenever he sees it, he explodes through the hole. I'd be shocked if we don't see a very similar play here on second down. Boy, it looked like he keeps it, but no surge on that offensive line. He comes up a few inches short of the goal line. Third and goal coming up. Clock running with seven minutes to go. Last year's game against Oklahoma, albeit a loss for the Bears. Late in the game, they got to it in three. On the Boomer Schooner today. In front of the sellout crowd, the 120th straight. Well, as we honor those who... We appreciate their service. See how Oklahoma responds here, Sermon. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Dusty Sermon, Sutton, Kennedy, Pledger. We've seen a tailback today. All those pieces added up together still really don't replace Anderson, do they? Uh, Rodney Anderson, a special player, one of the premier running backs in college football. They lost him week two, and they're trying to do it running back by committee, but there's still a void there in the running back room. Guy that was going to be a first-round pick by all accounts. That's yeah, Murray on the run. You know, last week we showed you the ROTC guys on the scout team, and Army last week left the locker room here at Oklahoma as clean as it was when they first got here. I mean, that's real respect, Dusty. I mean, that's fantastic. First of all, Army came in and played a heck of a football game, and how classy is that to completely clean up the mess that they left? Mm. Utmost respect for that Army football team. Jeff Munkin doing a fantastic job. And we very much appreciate their service yeah. as well. Makes you feel great about the people serving our country, protecting our interests abroad. Murray. Tell you what, he's fun to watch. Out to the 37-yard line. Got a nice block from Trey Sermon, but Kyler Murray moves the chains on a 13-yard game. Well, this is what you hate as a defensive coordinator. It's pretty good initial pass rush up the field, but now Kyler Murray is going to get a chance to see it. He sees the hole. He takes off running, and there's nothing that the defense can do to stop it. That's a third and long situation where you play great defense, but the quarterback, too tough to stop. Pulls it out on the RPO, down the sidelines. It's caught, but out of bounds, intended for Miller. <laughs> Talked about Murray, his dad, Kevin, played at Texas A&M, which is where Murray actually began his career. He didn't mention the fact earlier that he transferred his after his freshman season there. His uncle Calvin played five years in the major leagues as well. So Major League Baseball, no stranger to the Murray family. Oakland A's love his speed and power. But so do the Sooners. <laughs> it's not news. Complete out to the 46 to Marquise Brown. And folks, tonight right here on ABC, expect whiteout conditions in the top 10 Two teams battle it out. Number four, Ohio State. Number nine, Penn State at Beaver Stadium, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, 6.30 local. And Murray hands it off to Sermon. So you, you, you're going to go with Ohio State. Yes. In Happy Valley. On the road. Waskin's wow. playing so good this year at the quarterback spot. He's as good at that position as I've seen this year as 16 well. 16 touchdowns, one pick. Taking care of the football. He's got two games of five-plus touchdowns. Yeah. A lot of offense in that game tonight. Pretty polished as a passer. Much like this young man. Kyler Murray. Throwing the football at a very high level here this afternoon. Second and seven. Under four and a half minutes to go. One on one on the edge. 
And they got a miss from Brown. Hollywood up to no good. Touchdown Sooners. I'm buying a 4 2. I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Low 4 2s. <laughs> the slight hesitation he made gave him the open space. And man, you give that guy open space, forget about it. It's over. Marquise Brown, you know, he's become such a precise route runner, too. Really picked up his game. Just that slight hesitation makes the defender miss and forget about it. Mm. Well, mini high step there before the end zone, too. I'm not mad at him. Second touchdown today, Dusty. Five catches for 132 yards. The Sooners love this one. Celebration that would make Barry Switzer proud. Former coach here. Coach Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Hey, any head coach that allows his quarterback to wear a fur coat on the sidelines, like Switzer did with Jamel Holloway, is down with me. Wow. Explosive plays, the story of the day for the Oklahoma Sooners. That's exactly what defensive coordinator Phil Snow of Baylor said they could not allow to happen. And it's been happening in droves here this afternoon. You know, Marquise Brown had a chance to work out with Antonio Brown of the Pittsburgh Steelers, both of them South Florida residents. Antonio Brown from Liberty City in Miami. And the two of them got up often in the morning and ran the beaches doing a lot of agility and speed drills. And that work is really paying off here for Marquise Brown. Let's go down to Molly. Well, Mark, Oklahoma uh, defensive lineman Dilla, Dylan Fama'atu, Fama'atu, excuse me, that's a difficult one. He pulled his entire D-line together, screaming at them to man up. It starts with us. They have to run through us first, telling them they can't lose their fight even if they're tired. And I haven't seen a player get in guys' faces and scream like this. It's something that would make Dusty Dvorak. To hey. The Sometimes it's needed. Were you a get in the face guy and scream guy once in a while? I was a get in the face and scream guy. <laughs> a little bit too much, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, man, players got to hold other players accountable. Hey, Coach Stoops called you a problem child a little bit ago. Underneath incomplete, but that was just with reference to the tattoos and earrings, right? It was right? a wild child. <laughs> it was a wild child. I'm wild sorry. Child. I'm sorry. My bad. I misquoted him. <laughs> Mike Stoops up in the booth, I can promise you. Not very happy with what he's seen here to start this second half. Two possessions for Baylor, 150 yards and two touchdowns. 405 to go. Brewer put the pump fake on the defense. And he runs for the first down. What do you think Coach Stoops' reaction was? snapped it's just ingrained in him man he can't help it that's just the way he's wired <laughs> Caleb Kelly had a free shot on the quarterback he leaves his feet a nice job by Charlie Brewer Brewer completes this one to the near side of the field that's Denzel Mims you said it was the intensity of coach Stoops that caught your eye during the home visit right passion intensity love of football wired very similar to me Jonesy sounds like a good fit was a good fit you got to bring some heat when you play for that guy. 3.20 to go in the third. Baylor trying to answer here with a score. And a yawning hole up the middle, but there's a flag down, and maybe that's why. Hasty left down around the 47-yard line. Let's see if that one comes back. A 12-yard gain, but will it stand? Holding number 52 offense 10 yard penalty still second down that's going to go against Sam Tecklenburg that rule was raving about Sam Tecklenburg to us yesterday you know whenever he got him he was a tight end much smaller 
And Matt Rule said he went to him and said, a tight end, you only touch the ball a few times a game. If you move to center, you can touch it every snap of the game. And he's been really impressed with his approach and his pro-like mentality turned into a heck of a center for this offense. And he snaps it to Brewer. Incomplete at the 45-yard line intended for Ebner. So third and long coming up for Baylor. Yeah, when Rule sold Tecklenburg on touching the ball every game, it's not like who's going to touch it as a running back <laughs> or a tight end or a receiver. That's a little different at the center spot. No, every snap at the center, man. <laughs> and hey, man, get ready. Big third down here for this Baylor offense. They're going to have to keep scoring points to keep up, to keep pace with this Oklahoma offense. Five of 11 on third downs today. Brewer sacked to the 25. They got to him. Ronnie Perkins got there first. Well, they dial up pressure again. They got home twice in the first half, third and long situations. And Mike Stoops, he's going to bring a couple of linebackers. And Ronnie Perkins, the one that's able to finish the job. Caleb Kelly. Mark Jackson back there before Ronnie Perkins able to get Charlie Brewer on the ground. C.D. Lamb back for this punt. Drew Kalis takes an Oklahoma bounce and then comes back in favor of Baylor and is down to the 35-yard line. 40 yards and nothing on the return. With 1.59 to go. And a radiant sky spattering down on a benevolent field here in Norman. Kansas City against the Broncos. Monday Night Football. Patrick Mahomes high-flying Chiefs in action, taking on Vaughn Miller and the Broncos, 8.15 Eastern time. What do you make of this matchup, partner? Man, Vaughn Miller better get there and get there quickly. Because you get Patrick Mahomes more than two seconds, forget about it. He's got weapons outside, and he will shred you. That's going to be a great matchup. Von Miller, one of the great pass rushers in the NFL. Tyler Murray. Little option look to Brooks. And Brooks out over the 45 to the 46. But Kedrick Vaughn's making the tackle on the play for Baylor. Nice read. Tyler Murray, James Lynch, he wakes the last second when James Lynch is coming off the edge and a perfect flip outside to Brooks in the open field. You know, Brooks had a great spring for Oklahoma, hit on a bunch of long runs. Good to see him getting some productive yardage. Pick up the first down. Oklahoma Sooners with 42 on the board already here. Murray on the edge. He shuffles out of bounds at the 42. Split zone action. With the zone read keep from the quarterback. Another excellent read by Kyler Murray. Just taking what the defense gives him. That backside player wants to close and play. Try to tackle running back. Kyler Murray's going to keep it himself. And easy yardage for a first down. His Under acceleration. Pretty ridiculous. Yeah. He gets the top speed like that. He hands it off this time. Nowhere to go at the 43 yard line for Trey Sermon, who set a career high of 148 yards rushing against Baylor in this game last year. Clock running with 32 seconds to go. This play inside by Ira Lewis, number nine, the senior. An outstanding year last year as a junior. Really one of the vocal leaders of this Baylor Bear defense. Strong, penetrates inside. Nice play. First down. Murray survey. Hands it off. And a nice edge there by Sermon. Got to it. But there's a flag down back at the 43. I think they're going to get Cody Ford on a hold out there on the edge. Holding. Number 74. Offense.
10-yard penalty will extend the quarter for one on time down. All right, there you go. They're going to run one more. Confusion. Baylor wasn't quite sure that yeah, they were heading to the sidelines. They were heading to the sidelines. Ball at the 48. One on time down. Sermon in the backfield. Sermon on the catch. Running to daylight. Sermon. What a move. Still on his feet, lunging and short all the way down to the one. And there's a flag on the far side of the field. The third quarter. So there was an untimed down to play to end the last quarter. The last play, anyway, and I'm timed down. So you've got to do it again here on this flag. A spirited run, though, by Trey Sermon. Excellent job making a couple of guys miss, reversing field. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. That penalty will enforce half the distance to the goal. And again, we will extend the period for one untimed down. <laughs> Vicious stiff arm oh. there from Trey Sermon. I believe it was B.J. Thompson, the recipient of that. Outstanding run after the catch by Trey Sermon. And right now they're inches away from the goal line as a result. Oklahoma calls a timeout. They're going to talk it over. The official calls them back out. They stole a little time on the sidelines. One more look at this play. And a swing route. Make a couple guys miss. Watch him just reverse field. But completely the other side. Ooh, making guys miss. Goal to go. Touchdown Sooners. Murray keeps it himself. More explosive plays. Really a detriment to this Baylor Bear defense today. And the band is playing again. Boomer Sooner. Alan Murray getting a little escort in from a defensive tackle in the backfield. Representing the 9 4. 94. <laughs> He's wearing it well. <laughs> he put me in the backfield. <laughs> and now we have the end of the third quarter. I was say they're not cheating. We, we clipped the end of it. <laughs> It'll be first and ten for the 25 for Baylor as we start the fourth quarter. Backside pressure and Brewer going to be sacked by Mark Jackson. This has been a problem all day for Baylor. The left side of the offensive line. It's Jake Frew. Frew Morgan. He's just going to get beat. We've seen this quite a bit today. Mark Jackson even working through the chip from the from the running back, getting Charlie Brewer to the ground. That's the fourth sack of the day for the Sooners defense. And off is to Hasty. And what a hit. Man, he brought that smoke on that one. Khalil Houghton. Let's listen to this one. But a football going on down there. Wow, a little hot. A little bit more to the table. See, Mike Stu's putting a lot of pressure in these situations today. Three sacks and third and long. Here it comes again. Brewer stays alive. 
and finds his receiver at the 38 yard line for first down and a late flag looks like we have a roughing the passer penalty going to go against Kenneth Murray so they'll tack some yards onto that completion by Brewer defense high hit to the quarterback 15 yard penalty add to the end of the run automatic first down Charlie Brewer is a tough kid Pressure comes inside. He rolls to his right, which he likes to do. Very comfortable out there. Ooh, big hit. Throws a strike outside to Jalen Hurd. Picking up the first down. Tack wow. 15 more on. And that's a play Kenneth Murray's kind of got to lay back. He's got to lay off of him or he's got to go lower. Murray, one of the better stories for this Oklahoma team last year after the loss to Georgia in the Rose Bowl game. Went back and watched every play from that game and fixed his mistakes. Started to watch tape of some of the top linebackers in the NFL, including Luke Creekley from the Panthers. They found a little seam in the defense. Murray in on that tackle on Jalen Hurd. Picked up 14. Charlie Brewer, again, standing in the pocket. Gets hit again by Ronnie Perkins. Fires a strike for another first down. Throws it out of bounds. Closest receiver was Chris Platt. We were putting up some pretty good numbers today, but the big difference is the number of touchdowns. And that really counts. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm sorry, that counts. It's the explosive plays, man. Uh, 14 of Baylor 17. has not had very many explosive plays. Didn't have any in the first half. Had a couple in the third quarter, but that's really been the story of this game. And off into the boundary. That's going to be Josh Fleeks. Number 21. They line him up as a receiver most of the time. It's big for Caleb Kelly. This is a guy who came in a five-star recruit. A lot of expectations. He's supposed to win the starting job this year at the Will linebacker position. Curtis Bolton outplayed him, won that job. And here in the second half, he's gotten a lot of run. He's been all over the field making a nice play there at the line of scrimmage. A little positional switch for him, right? Moving into the middle. Uh, yeah, you know, last year he played bit. more outside. He's more of okay. an outside backer. Now he's going to, they wanted him to be more of that Will linebacker. And it just never really materialized. And give Curtis Bolton a lot of credit. He won that job. Third and ten, Brewer complete. And they move the chains. Denzel Mims, the guy that was getting into his teammates' grill a moment ago on the sidelines, picks up 13 on the catch. Yep. Baylor with the ball from the 22. First and ten for Brewer. On the slant, dropped by Denzel Mims, who has been a leader by example in a good way for most of this second half. Should have caught this one, though. Well, that's the one thing. You're going to go over the sidelines, and you're going to yell and scream at your teammates. You best catch those passes. Yeah. yeah Molly McGrath reporting a little bit earlier. He was in his teammates' bases, imploring them, saying, we are made for this. 12 minutes to go. Brewer. And throws it out of bounds. He was out of the pocket. And the ball went beyond the line of scrimmage, so no grounding. Ronnie Perkins in hot pursuit. But Ronnie Perkins is putting himself together one heck of a football game. The true freshman defensive lineman. He's been all over the field today as a great pass rusher. I mean, no one blocks him. I mean, Giancarlo Valentine, he steps to the right, and he just gets a scot-free release. And Ronnie Perkins... A nice quarterback pressure once again, but he's been very active. And man, can he get up the field for a defensive line? Third and ten. We're incomplete behind his receiver, Hasty. And fourth down coming up for Baylor. Within field goal range here for Connor Martin. Seven of nine on the season. And Matt Rule, teaching moment for the head coach of the Bears. Kind of hard to field goal formation from Hitler. It will be a pretty high time. 
Martin, 8 of 10 on the season, made one earlier today from 32 yards. Big mistake by the Oklahoma defense. Wow. Too many men on the field. This will drive a coach crazy. Before the illegal substitution of 12 on defense, Oklahoma called a timeout. Oh, so they got it first. They ID'd it before they threw the flag. That's their second of the half. See up a future. From 39 yards out. And he knocked it through. Hunter Martin. Time out on the field. And when we come back, Dusty going to chop it up with Kyler on how he takes care of his big fellows up front. Back Double digits? <laughs> you might want to take the under. <laughs> take the under. <laughs> uh, a little bit earlier, Dusty had a chance to talk to quarterback Kyler Murray about how to take care of his big guys up front. We go out every Wednesday. Uh, we go out, I take them out to eat every Wednesday. Smart man. Yeah, yeah no, you got to take care of the big guys. And it's it's been working so far. I, don't, I think I've gotten sacked maybe twice this season. So uh, we're trying to keep that tradition going. Quarterback's a smart man when he's taking care of the big fellas up front. Those guys do a fantastic job protecting him. So he's got a little change in his pocket. He's going to take yeah. care of him. Hey, man, when you sign that $4.6 million deal with the A's, feel more than your leg when you reach in your pocket. C.D. Lamb with a reception. Out to the 31-yard line. And he's... Uh, Sacked only twice today, six on the season. I'm Speaking of taking care of your, your big guys, yeah. taking care of your partner like you, yeah. you were supposed to. Your wife Lacey told me she's going to send a doggy bag of those ginger goodies pumpkin for dessert. Spice. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. It's fall and, time, man. Yeah, and, and I know, forgot. I'm still waiting, bro. No. Big dis big disappointment on that one. I'm not going to lie to you. Incomplete on that pass. I'm no Kyler Murray, man. What you want? I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't deliver like that. I you up for dinner last night. You, you can't expect it every day. Jeez, Jonesy. I was expecting the next day follow through. <laughs> Third down and four coming up. It'll be in the mail. Thanks. I'll be looking. <laughs> well, it's been otherwise a pretty perfect day for Murray in that offense. 49 points. Back to swing it again. Had it knocked loose. Scoops it up. Man, what a magical play. Kyler Murray has it. Presence of mind, staying in the moment, remaining poised. He's a monument to it all. Wow. Pressure gets inside, gets the ball out. Roberts gets the ball out. No panic. Complete calm. Scoops it. Finds Brooks in the open field. And you want to talk about making something out of nothing. He turned a disaster into a first down. What kind of day it's been for Kyler Murray here in Norman. He scooped that up like a center fielder should, too. Side handoff this time to Brooks. And Brooks is stopped up at the 38-yard line. Dusty, I don't think you can overstate how tough it can be replacing a guy like Baker Mayfield. The presence that Mayfield had on the field with his teammates. And speaking of baseball, that's Kyler Murray. Nice-looking glove. Nice little scoop. Whoop. The poise. He Not just... worried, calm. <laughs> the A's need to hope that he's wrapped in bubble wrap right now so he Kyler's doesn't break. crew there? <laughs> we'll be back after this. I, th I think you uh, I think you got some cred from him out there. I really do. He's killing me, man. I do. No, I think you got some cred. Another reception on the seam right. Still on his feet. Deep into Baylor territory, Brandon Willis 
with the catch. Like, no, everybody else. Hey, you don't even know what American Eagle is. <laughs> <laughs> Big hole up the middle. Brooks. Dressed for success. The Sooners score another one. A 34-yard scamper by Kennedy Brooks. Another explosive play for this Oklahoma offense. This one on the ground. Big hole opened up. Pull both backside, backside guard and tackle. Big hole opens up. Kennedy Brooks is going to follow Bobby Evans. Hits it downhill as he strolls into the end zone. As they continue to pile up the points. Up 30 with 9.08 to go. Gaping hole that Kennedy Brooks took advantage of. Through the back of the end zone, out to the 25-yard line. First down and 10, ESPN app. Brewer got rid of it just in time. Heard up the sidelines, made a nice move and into Oklahoma territory at the 48-yard line. Jalen Hurd, their leading receiver, coming into the game tonight. Picked up 26. Brendan Radley Hiles goes by Buki, the true freshman. Gambled on that play, tried to undercut the route. Gets there a step late, and Jalen Hurd, a nice run after the catch. His mom calls him Buki, I call him Buki, too. <laughs> 8.43 to go. Left tackle looked like he got a head start. Snap infraction, number 52. Offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. Converted tight end, Sam Tecklenburg. Down by 30. Denzel Mims. They've got some good weapons on this offense. In fact, uh, no shortage of speed either. Six players on this Baylor squad run for the Baylor track program, which is perennially one of the top teams in the nation. Pushed out of bounds, about three yards shy of the first down by Kenneth Murray. Oklahoma with a 27.8% chance to make the college football playoff. The Virginia Mountaineers next at 1.6. West Virginia, they've looked really good to start the season yeah. so far. I mean, Will Greer's been lighting it up. They went to love it today and performed extremely well. And remember, Oklahoma has to go to Morgantown, the final game of the season on a short week on a Friday. There's a lot of season left yeah. to play out, man. I mean, we got a, there's a big one in Dallas next week between OU and Texas, so. Third and two. Hasty got the first down and then some. Down to the 30-yard line. What do you remember most about your Oklahoma-Texas games, those rivalry games? Oh, man. Pulling into the stadium. You know, there at the State Fair, you pull into the right. sea of humanity. And the, the OU fans are cheering for you. And the Texas fans are giving you the old number one. <laughs> but then, man, coming down that ramp, and when you walk out on that field, the burnt orange, the crimson, it's, man, it's a thing of beauty. Right. Pass incomplete by Brewer, intended to to Michael Hasty. Hey, I want to thank you for taking us behind the all of the red velvet ropes here at, the, at Oklahoma University, being able to get some great insights, what it's like coming out of that tunnel. The way you described that at the top of the show today, feeling the reverberations of enthusiasm from your teammates and uh, hearing Kyler Murray describe it in much the same tones, touching that sign, playing like a champion today. Uh, boy, you can only imagine the excitement that you feel as a player. That pass complete once again to Mims. 
this special place. I mean, there's a reason there's been 120 straight sellouts. You know, since when Bob Stoops took the job, been a sellout every game yeah. since. And, you know, this this state supports this program. You know, the fan base is as, as quality as you're going to find. I mean, every aspect you need to be a parental powerhouse program, they've got it right here at the University of Oklahoma. Third and five. Brewer completes it to Hasty. Couple of the nice moves, gets him inside the 20. And he's going to come back a little bit short when he got spun around. His progress is going to put him about two feet short of that first down marker. He's shifty. Like a man. A couple guys miss, almost getting the first down. Nice day today, especially catching the football in the backfield. Fourth down and one. They're going to go for it. Jalen Hurd lines up in the backfield behind the fullback, Colby Bullard. Hurd got the first down. Ball came loose, but he was ruled down first. He's talking about some of the, the speed, the six track guys on that Baylor roster. Baylor has a great reputation for speed when you talk about their track and field program. Presently one of the fastest men in the planet, on the planet, Trayvon Brumell, a sprinter at Baylor. Think about their history of 400 meter runners. Michael Johnson, Jeremy Warner, Will London, the list goes on and on. And into the end zone for the Bears. That's going to be pass interference. As Trey Norwood dragged down Taekwon Thornton. Locking again soon. First and goal. Into the end zone, touchdown Bears. Jalen Hurd with his third touchdown catch of the year. Over the last year and a bit, sitting out last year as a transfer. Miller lining up for the onside kick. Got a good bounce, but fielded cleanly by the Sooners at midfield. Heisman race. I think those guys are at the top of the list. New quarterback here, Austin Kimball. And Brooks breaking off another one. Proper touchdown Sooners. Well, the defense got to get back on the field again, Dusty. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a good sign for Oklahoma. They've been looking for a running back to step up and be that complimentary back for Trey Sermon. It sure feels like Kennedy Brooks may just be that guy. A great burst by Brooks. This is what he was doing in the springtime. He had like, I think it was eight 60 plus yard runs okay. in the spring that they had uh, that they had kept track of. And we've seen him here today with now his second touchdown run of over 35 yards. 5'11 red trip freshman from Mansfield, Texas. The second 60 point game of the season for the Sooners as we go back to the studio. What's up? Brooks. safety he's coasting into the end zone everybody in the stands like it the kids like it <laughs> I'm sure Lincoln Riley likes to see this kind of output from his offense and they haven't done much talking about him today but the job he's done in the second season taking over this program really one of the great offensive minds in college football that was their 11th chunk play of the day 20 yards or more Seven of them for touchdowns. The answer. Brewer completes it to Hurd. Stops the clock with uh, 450 to go. Now running. Been impressed with Charlie Brewer today. His toughness, his accuracy with the football. Being able to make plays off schedule. Very calm, relaxed kid when we sat with him yesterday afternoon. Sets his feet. Fires incomplete. That was dropped by Josh Fleets. Dusty, what do you make of the fact that we saw Jalen McClendon today for just one series? I almost thought it that we were finished with the, the rotating quarterbacks because Coach Rules offensive coordinating staff uh, Jeff Nixon they only played McClendon at the end of the game last correct 
Well, they said he got off to such a hot start against Kansas. They didn't want to pull him out. They want to roll with the hot hand. But I guess he didn't do enough here today. Interesting. Cut by Hasty. And Hasty out of bounds at the 35. Prior to Jalen McClendon coming in, Brewer hadn't done much, but McClendon came in for the one series, and then it was back to Brewer, and I mean, I thought he's been, yeah. you know, very good since he's come back after McClendon made a brief stint. Brewer trying to get his team to pick it up here. Brewer taking a shot on the post. Incomplete. Intended for Chris Platt, but Trey Brown there to break it up. And there's an area of growth right there for that Sooner secondary winning that battle. Impressive coverage by Trey Brown down the field. Watch the ball skills going up, batting the ball away out of the hands of Chris Platt. Outstanding individual effort there by Trey Brown, and he's made several plays on the day, so you're right. You're looking for a bright spot, this Oklahoma secondary. Yep. Trey Brown's been that this afternoon. Hits coming on Brewer. Missed tackle. And Brewer downfield incomplete. Out of bounds, Thornton. That stoops up top from his perch. Watching his defense. It's been a nice job today. Like plays like that. Broken up by Trey Norwood. Working against Josh Fleeks. Fourth down coming up. Trey Norwood with a nice pass breakup. So, so when we used to be in practice, or like he would he kind of gyrates <laughs> Coach Mike when the ball is snapped because it's like he's almost playing. Right. And it's funny because we used to watch like practice tape you could see coach Mike off to the side and as the play's going on he's popping he's bouncing <laughs> we had a little fun with him back in the day <laughs> oh a sack on Brewer wow he got hit and Mike Stoops loved it <laughs> big hit by Caleb Kelly we were talking about a little bit earlier today. Caleb Kelly will be right here. They're going to bring him on a pressure. The loop outside splits the tackle, works Ooh. off the chipper, and man, that looked a like punishing whiplash. shot oh. on Charlie Brewer. Talked about his toughness. Man, vicious hit. And we have an unsportsmanlike oh. conduct foul. It's an unsportsmanlike conduct foul for the game. Hate to see Charlie Brewer's next snapback like that. Yeah. This is big for Caleb Kelly, though. He's got an opportunity today. He's made the most of it. He's got a little bit of confidence going. Oh, Look man. at his head snap back. Hope that he's okay. Wow. So Oklahoma with defense today. It's given up some plays down the field, but third down, that was a fourth down. They've dialed up blitzes and five sacks on the day. They've gotten home quite a bit. And off the Brooks. This Oklahoma offense piling up big time numbers today offensively. Brooks has done a nice job here in the fourth quarter. Second down and eight coming up. 604 total yards for the Sooners. Austin Kendall in a quarterback still. In relief of Kyler Murray. Little victory formation here. And Stoops, he's into what's happening on the field. Left his man hanging, though, Dusty. Ruff <laughs> McNeil was trying to dap him up. <laughs> he's too dialed in, man. Yeah. He, he, he wasn't feeling that. <laughs> he's too locked in on the field. 
to hit him up in the post game. So Oklahoma can improve to 5 and 0 and 2 and 0 overall. 2 and 0 in conference play. And a spirited run by Brooks down to the eight yard line with under two minutes to go now. Good physical run by Kennedy Brooks. Put together a nice fourth quarter here. Definitely opened some eyeballs and put out his resume as to why he deserves more carries yeah. moving forward in Big 12 play. 26 yard field goal attempt here on fourth and three. Seibert, who missed one late in regulation last week, that would have won it for the Sooners in regulation, knocks that one through. It was interesting that Seibert took to social media to apologize for that missed field goal. Even though his head coach Lincoln Riley didn't feel that he had to do something like that. But they, they had uh, let his team down a little bit. Even though they came back to win it. Biggest thing is the confidence with a kicker. Yeah. right? You don't want that broken or fractured. Because there's going to come a point in the time of the season where they're going to need him once again for a timely kick. And he wants to have that positive that positive confidence in his head, knowing he can make the kick. Get it! Let's go! <laughs> Most of the sellout crowd has uh, left Memorial Stadium. Gotten to the important plus stuff, the, the post game, tailgate. Once again, to the 25, you have a uh, productive meeting last night and break some bread and have a good time. Brewer found a man at the 40. Black all the way down to the 15. Baylor's not going to stop until the clock says zero. Good on them as Chris Platt breaks free across the field and hits the sideline for a big game. Runner stepped out of bounds at the 30-yard line, first down. This Oklahoma defense on the field for a lot of plays going back to the last couple of games. And, and I think that, you know, where you really have to kind of wonder, you know, what effect does this have on next week? Mm. 87 plays a week ago, over 90 plays here today. That accumulation of plays, man, that, that really starts to take its toll. Pass complete underneath. One minute to go. Deshaun White, true freshman linebacker, very instinctive. Open field tackle. Smith with the catch. Abraham Smith. <laughs> Brewer. Sideline incomplete. You know, the only thing that could make this weekend more complete for me was would be to. I had a chance to hang with you. Coach Stoops came up in the booth. Mm -hmm. uh, met so many great people. I need to see Barry Switzer. Ah, the king. That's, that's you know, amongst the annals of great college football coaches. Well, I can tell you he lives He's just right down the street. So on your way out, I if you want me to hit, give you his address, I'll tell him you're coming him by. He is the king. <laughs> Coach Switzer's awesome, man. Yeah. He's, he's a legend. Tell you what, to see Brewer still in the ball game after taking that vicious whiplash-like hit on the last series really is a testament to his toughness. Mm -hmm. 23 seconds to go. Even that play right there, I mean, good pressure. You can just make something out of nothing. That's 
is what he's done to this point, this Baylor Bear football team. Twenty-three seconds to go. Brewer wrestled to the ground at the 30 by Caleb Kelly again, finishing strong here in the second half. Of course, next week for the Sooners, we mentioned it, the big one, the rivalry game against Texas. Conversely, it'll be Kansas State on the menu for the Baylor Bears. Important game for Baylor next week. Kansas State's down right now. Been struggling a little bit this season. It'll be a game that they want and a great opportunity for Matt Rule to get his fourth win. Let's not forget, this was a 1-11 team last year, and they've already... You know, tripled their win total last year. It'd be three and two after yep. this loss, but I still think the needle's heading in the right direction for Matt Rule and his program. Victory formation for the Sooners. Kendall takes a knee. He started the game and then handed it off to QB number one, Kyler Murray, who got the job done. Our final score, 66-33. Intensity, the buzzword of the day for the Sooners, at least on the defensive side of the field. And they got it done. Coach Stoops set the tone. If you don't believe me, look right there. There'll be better days for Coach Rule and his son, Brian. We had a couple moments to celebrate. From Molly McGrath, Dusty Dvorak, I'm Mark Jones. Right now, we're going to send you to the studio for college football scoreboard. So long, everybody.